when the world needed him most, he returned. And no, I'm not talking about Ong from Avatar. I'm talking about the one, uh, the only, Jack Black. Hi, my name is Ryan Lane, and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing Kung Fu Panda 4, directed by Mike Mitchell and starring Jack Black, Aquafina, Brian Cranston, James Hong, Ian McShean, Ki Hui Kwan, Dustin Hoffman, and Viola Davis. So, having received a magical staff from Master Ugwe in Kung Fu Panda 3, Poe is, uh, he's living the good life. He, he's helping out his goose and panda fathers run the noodle shop in, in the valley, and he's defeating the baddies. But uh, much to his chagrin, uh, Master Shifu, played by Dustin Hoffman, has a different idea. He wants Poe, played by once again by Jack Black, he wants Poe to become a spiritual leader and select a new candidate to become the Dragon Warrior. So, and Poe is not fully on board with this idea, and he finds it less appetizing than bland broth. And so, rather than training a new dragon warrior, he decides to take uh, the uh, thief fox Zen, played by Aquafina, uh, to Juniper City to defeat the Chameleon, a new uh, warlord that plans to conquer, you guessed it, all of China. Along the way, po both Poe and Zen will learn what it means to change into the people they were meant to be. So storytelling-wise, you know, this, this franchise is starting to uh, show some wear and tear with its formula. Uh, Poe needs to learn a new skill, i.e. how to be a spiritual leader, sort of something akin to that of Aquaman and, you know, Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, where he needs to become a better king. You know, except this film does it better, but I'll, I'll get to that in a, in a moment. Uh, there's a villain with a chip on her, emphasis on the her uh, shoulder, who wants to take over all of China. And there's a brand new locale for our heroes to explore. But the film, I mean, the film more than compensates for the familiarity with uh, plenty of fun visual and verbal gags, is with my personal favorite involving a fine china shop. Uh, the screenplay also gives, you know, just enough screen time to each cast member, you know, for them to shine and never over focuses on the comedic relief characters. But, I mean, I would argue this film doesn't really need comedic relief characters because every character is so well balanced. They, they both manage to bring both emotion and humor to their respective roles. Uh, it also even manages to toss a surprise curveball of a plot twist that I was not expecting for one character in particular. Looking back on it, it's kind of familiar, but the way the film went about it, I was kind of surprised by. And I don't know, maybe in the film full of, you know, relatively familiar tropes, this trope, you know, was just slightly less familiar enough that it caught me off guard. Either way, good job on the movie's writing. The film also has fun callbacks to the prior films, uh, you know, numbers three and one in particular, that, you know, are feel organic and help further the film's themes rather than feel like, hey, remember that movie? You know, it's, you know, out of desperation, you know, by studio execs. So again, good job there. So as I mentioned earlier, some of the voice actors, their voices are starting to show a bit of wear and tear. Uh, particularly James Hong and Dustin Hoffman. As you can tell, this franchise has been going on for over a decade and a half. Their voices are, I mean, they're getting up there. I mean, although to be fair, James Hong is pushing 90 plus at the moment. So, you know, yeah, I, I probably should cut him a little slack. He still gives a solid performance and he's very funny in the movie. Uh, Jack Black, he's fun as always, as Poe, the dumpling-loving panda who's uh, struggling to come to terms with the fact that he needs to leave his kick-butt punching days, you know, behind him and, you know, become a spiritual leader. Uh, Aquafina redeeming herself for her terrible performance in the Little Mermaid remake. She's fun as Zen, a uh, thief fox with a heart of gold with... Uh, quick hands and you know sleight of hand detail. She's very fun there. 
Uh, also, Viola Davis, though her villain character kind of has some of the thinnest background material to work with, like, because it feels like every char villain had, like, a fully fleshed out backstory. Heck, even the third film, you know, they managed to give a, a, a 2D back flashback, you know, for the character, Kai. But with this one, you know, it's like she gets a few lines of dialogue about her past, and that's kind of it. But still, in spite of that, Viola Davis manages to give a fun, charming, and menacing performance, and she manages to bring it some sarcastic wit to the role. So again, good performance there. It's not, you know, I wouldn't say it's top-tier Kung Fu Panda villain, but it's still solid. It's better than some other animated films out there. So, the animation looks stunning as always. I mean, the film uses pre-2018 quote-unquote realistic CGI, but even then, the film does take the occasional interlude to give a 2D animated sequence and get cre- and it even gets creative with the CG animation as well, like in particular with regards to the chameleon, like part of her gimmick is that, you know, she can transform into other, you know, kung fu masters. And she's and, and the film gets really creative with it. Plus the way the camera moves throughout, you know, any given action sequence. Plus the very locales all add up to, you know, some pretty fun action scenes are are easily engaging to watch. So though the formula may be showing some wear and tear, uh, Kung Fu Panda 4 benefits from fun performances and creative action scenes. So with all that in mind, I will be giving Kung Fu Panda 4 three and a half out of five stars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And for today's comment section prompt of the day, what is your favorite Kung Fu Panda movie and why?